So for this 251, we're introducing some additional alterations and embellishments. For the two chord, we're sticking with a melodic minor. This is minor major nine. So I have the major seven and the nine added to the D minor in this case. For the five chord, we're playing the altered scale. And uh, this involves using the melodic minor a half step above the dominant to generate raised and lowered fives and nines. So in this key, that's going to be an A flat melodic minor as G7. So that's a little additional tension and release to resolve us to the one chord. The C is still going to be Lydian. So we're going to have some F sharps in the mix there. We talked in an earlier segment about using the triad of, uh, a whole tone above to generate that sound. So this could be a D triad or just simply factoring in some F sharps as we arpeggiate over the C. And the A7, the 6, uh, we're going to keep this as dominant the way we did in the last segment. Again, melodic minor half step above will generate that. So in terms of the uh, sounds I'm using again as a template, uh, D melodic minor, A flat melodic minor as G7 altered, resolving me to the 1. The 1 chord in this case is going to be Lydian. And the 6 chord to set up the loop again is going to be dominant altered. So that will be B flat melodic minor. If you would, please, Eric. 1. Two, one, two, three, four. Minor major nine, altered. Lydian, altered. D minor, major nine, A flat melodic minor. Lydian, B flat melodic minor is A. D melodic minor, A melodic, A flat. Lydian. Flat melodic minor is A7. B flat melodic minor. Start at the top again, D. A flat melodic minor is G. C Lydian. B flat melodic minor. There's my Lydian, B flat again. More tension release. D melodic minor, A flat melodic minor. D triad. D melodic minor. B flat melodic minor is A again. Try more eighth notes this time around. So, you could hear that there's quite a bit more tension and release going on there. These sounds, though, have been around in modern jazz probably for 40 years. If you listen to solos by people like Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter, Chick Corea in the 1960s, uh, perhaps even a little earlier, these sounds were in evidence then. Uh, in terms of getting used to the sounds, I think probably initially a great way to start is just to arpeggiate those different chord qualities so that you're really hearing the, that the alterations kind of built into the arpeggios. And what I do sometimes if I'm trying to set up uh, a comping loop for myself, and you can try this also, 
put the alterations uh, as func functioning as the top voices of the chords, and I wouldn't necessarily do that in an actual playing situation. If I were comping for you, I would let the soloist kind of determine the harmonic agenda. But as an exercise, to play a melodic minor with the major seven on top, and then play the alterations on top of the dominant chord, and then play the major seven with the sharp eleven on top to the alterations again in terms of that uh, six dominant with the with the altered tones on top. Uh, again, if I were comping for you, I would probably put those alterations maybe in the middle of the chord. So that doesn't require you as a soloist to necessarily agree with what I'm doing. However, as an exercise to force yourself in a good way to be able to locate those alterations on the neck, and you're essentially training your ear as you're playing, the, as you're connecting things physically on the instrument, it's not a bad, it's not a bad idea as an exercise to put the alterations on top uh, just to be able to begin to hear those sounds. So now we're going to start trading on the same progression. Again, the progression is minor major 9 for the 2 chord, the altered chord for the 5 chord, so the G7 is now going to be A flat melodic minor to generate the raised and lowered 5s and 9s resolving to the C. The C is Lydian, so incorporate the F sharp into your C major arpeggio or think about a D triad, major triad a whole step above for the Lydian sound. The 6th chord again is dominant altered, so we're thinking B flat melodic minor, a half step above the A7 to generate the tensions to set our loop again, it's going up again. So if you would, Eric, I'm going to do the first two, and then you're going to alternate with me, two at a time. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Let in. Now you. D melodic minor. A flat melodic minor is G7. C Lydian. Put that F sharp in there. B flat melodic minor is A7 altered. The loop begins again. D minor major. A flat melodic minor is G. C Lydian. And B flat melodic minor. And now me. C Lydian. B flat melodic minor is A. D melodic minor. A flat melodic minor is G. C Lydian with the F sharps. B flat melodic minor. And now B. Here's my C Lydian. Here's my B flat melodic minor. C Lydian, B flat melodic minor. Now you, D melodic minor, A flat melodic minor, C Lydian, B flat melodic minor is A7, D minor major, A flat melodic minor, C Lydian, B flat melodic minor, now me. C Lydian, B flat melodic minor is A7, one more loop around, D melodic minor, A flat melodic minor is G, C Lydian, and B flat melodic minor. Here I go. G7, C Lydian, B flat melodic minor, 